what is good what is good welcome to another video my friends uh grab your cup of coffee or tea and let's jump into this one man i wanted to touch upon the differences between camera raw and lightroom um in my teachings a lot of time i meet people who ask me that question and i believe i also had that question in the beginning you know and i started out the first tool that i used to convert my raw files was camera raw and i would bring it into photoshop and you know convert my images into jpeg and then after that edit them so what is the difference between camera raw and lightroom we're going to jump into that today so from my understanding you know both are doing relatively the same thing and if you can look at how camera raw has progressed uh, now you have a lot of the features that you find in Lightroom in Camera Raw. But essentially what the two um, softwares are, they convert, they, get, they allow you to convert raw files into JPEG files or any other file format. So you have your raw file, you bring it into Photoshop, it will open Camera Raw, or you bring it to Lightroom and then you'll be able to process or see the actual photo and you'll be able to make adjustments. Whereas if you don't have those plugins, you would have to edit with a JPEG, let's say in Photoshop. So let's say, for example, a client is asking you for all the raw images. They would essentially need to have Camera Raw in Photoshop or they would have to have Lightroom or DPP, you know, the software that you get for, you know, Canon to be able to to change those raw files. So let's jump into Lightroom. I'll show you what Lightroom, you know, looks like. So this is Lightroom. And what I really like about moving my files in Lightroom is that I'm able to see them in a catalog. For example, like over here, I can see on my personal drive, which is the hard drive that I've connected to my laptop, I can see all the different folders and I'm able to, you know, kind of organize my folders according to the month and the date. So I would name the folder March 23rd, and then I can see here Moshi Travel, March 24th, as a trip so like i'm able to see them which is one of the the biggest differences between the camera roll plugin in photoshop is that you don't have this kind of catalog feature whereby you're able to create these catalogs that is the biggest difference i would say and for me that is one of the main reasons i use lightroom because it allows me to have kind of like a bird's eye view of what is on my hard drive the moment i connect it and that is in the case when I've already uploaded the files onto Lightroom, right? So I can see all of them here, right? And then when we go into Camera Raw, so for example, like if I wanted to bring in some images onto Camera Raw, let's say I select a few images here and I drag them onto Photoshop. So it will open the Camera Raw uh, plugin right so i'm able to see them here but i can only edit the images that i see once i upload here and i can i can open them in photoshop and continue my editing but i can't really do uh much more than that like i can see a catalog and i can see my folders which is what i see here in lightroom and additionally like if i want to print i'm able to have like certain features here where i can create like borders obviously you can do that in photoshop but here you can do it in multiple images at one time so that speeds up the process i'm also able to see the map of where like i've shot all these images i can get uh, the development panel where this is you know my my home base where i edit all my images like i can have my presets on my left side over here and it just works for me. It makes sense, right? Um, and that's the difference between, you know, the camera roll plugin. Essentially, they're doing the same thing, converting the image, the raw file so that you're able to process them. But in Photoshop, I'm not able to have the catalog. So I can't really open Photoshop and then look through the different folders. I always have to bring in the images that I want to edit and then, you know, process them. So that's one of the biggest differences between the two. Nothing really crazy. They both doing the same thing, but I thought I would make this video and kind of clarify that if you were kind of trying to figure out which one to use. I use Lightroom because it allows me to process images, a big group of images quickly. It also has the catalog feature so I can see everything, all the different folders, all the different images I've already uploaded into Lightroom at once. So it really speeds up and saves me a lot of time. And when you're working with many projects, even the smallest amount of seconds that you save 
become a lot. So that is the difference between the two. Let me know what you're using. Are you using Camera Roll? Are you using Lightroom when it comes to editing? And are you considering switching to Lightroom? Because I'm sure if you're in the fence, you started out and you're using Camera Roll, I would highly recommend you to check out Lightroom. It's, it's quite, it, it is quite dope. So that is the difference. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's just a quick little video to give you an overview of these two uh, processing softwares. That's it for me, man. Have a good day. See you soon.